everybody so today we are in monk's corner south carolina once again at cypress gardens we came to see the azaleas blooming it is the time for them so are y'all ready to go see them yes, yes I am. yay I didn't really have peacock too. I didn't see you last time. They're so pretty. If they would look in this direction. What? I said if they would look in this direction. I'm coming okay. to the birds just to see if they'll talk. I don't mm -hmm. think they're going to talk. I'm talking to the birds. Quiet. Are you a bird? I don't think so. I don't think Dad knows my antics on my videos. Even oh. though he watches, he doesn't know my antics. So just in case he's not there whenever I get back out, that's one of the big alligators here. It could be the female. I don't know if it's the male or the female. It's one or the other. Thank you. 
Pretty. I like all the butterfly theming. It's so nice. So I see these, so the magnolias should be coming out next. So the other one's laying over there in the grass, and that was a whole lot bigger than the one on this side is, so maybe that's the male. So that's one of the alligators right there. There's another big one on the other side. That right there is a whole lot smaller than what the other one is. So, and I got some really good pictures from her real camera, but the cell phone will not pick them up as good. But isn't well, it beautiful? We have to walk on the other side where you can get the pictures. Or the video of the big, oh, big one. I love alligators. After you get out of this I room. First, but I love alligators. <laughs> Fish is almost as big as I am. Oh, wow.
see our little Halloween friend is still down there. If you watch the Christmas video. So maybe he just stays in there with the fish all the time. Mom and dad are getting ready to do one of their favorite things. See all this romantic love right here. <laughs> what? What you want? He said he wants the alligator. He's been around almost as long as y'all have. <laughs>
Do you want one of those at the house? Yeah. Just the walkway, not the gator, right? It don't matter. Well, I got, we can't have I, a gator at the I house. Got, I got some bricks at the house. Oh, Lord. All right, so now it's time to get into the fun with the swamp and the azaleas. Oh, those people's getting ready to have their notebook moment because they're out there in the water. We might have to come back and do a boat tour. That's on my bucket list too. <laughs> I'll pay somebody to take me out. You know, concerned about the fact I can't swim, I'd rather have a guide. <laughs> and please, he's given all kind of information over there, so I think it's worth the money. It's what, $5 or something like that to go out? These are pretty too. So this says, common thought, let us talk of flowers and trees and all things lovely that we see. Not strangers far our common thought of butterflies and beauty brought. So great their flight with colors flush, the angels fold their wings to blush. It's written by, looks like David C. Davis. Nice little quote right there. So the camellias are still here as well right now. So this is a like a two-in-one. You get to see the camellias and the azaleas. And I think mom sees my tulip tree or Japanese magnolia, whatever you want to call it. Oh, it's so pretty. It's 
Oops, I was about to squeal out into the light. I thought I was looking at an alligator, but that is not an alligator. It's a piece of a tree. But I was getting ready to get excited. I'm like, oh my God, there's one in the water. But it's not. I hope those people don't think I'm stalking them in that boat, but I have truly enjoyed watching their boat ride while we're been strolling through the Zayas. Oh, these are pretty over here. There's another camellia right here. I'm so happy that they're still blooming. I'm also really happy to see that the iris are blooming as well. It's an added bonus today. Oh, that is a snake. Very observant, Mom. Huh? It's a very observant. I know there's no least from what it's supposed to look like that. You know, the funny thing is, he just blends right in with the um, stuff that he's laying on top of. <laughs> it's a leaf. I mean, you know, Some all the other stuff there. Very good camouflage on that one. Well, it is tourist season, so probably a lot. Oh, there's a turtle. Maybe it's showing up. See it? Yep. I see it. All green. Ooh, this is pretty right here. It's so pretty. To me, this is like heaven on earth. I can't wait to see what is. So it's a really good thing that we do live where we live at because everybody doesn't get to see all this beauty. If some people have to drive miles and miles they and do. miles. So technically we're in the low country of South Carolina. It's in Monk's Corner, it's near Charleston. Everybody loves Charleston. Yeah. I don't know where mom's taking that video camera to now. I was taking it to flowers. Boat. And I think Dad has just gave up on us. He's like, I'm just gonna sit and wait for y'all. So if you were to get married here, this right here is where they bring the little canoe up for the bride so she can get off here and make her grand entrance. And as you can tell, they got the beautiful little heart shaped thing right there. So you would arrive here and see the bridge over there. There's a nice turtle over there too on that log. Oh, another turtle. And then, you would make your way over 
to the wedding gazebo. And isn't it gorgeous? Look at those turtles again. And there you would say, I do to the love of your life. Right underneath that gazebo, if you choose to get married here, of course. Those little flowers probably at Congaree, is it? Yeah, we need to go to Congaree also. Got so much I need to do and not enough time to do it. So dad is over here checking out the Cypress Gardens Bat Hotel. Even the bats have to have somewhere to stay. Did you look inside of it? No? Yeah, glanced. You glanced?
I don't know if there was anything in there or not. My mom has found yet another snake. And I've never seen any here before till today. I guess they might be out here enjoying the weather. Well, Dad says he wasn't going to walk now. It looks like he's going to walk after all. Uh -huh. That was all pretty. to get a picture of them. You coming? No. Uh. doing your pose. Hi. Hey. Yeah, say hey everybody. Hey everybody. I'm sure they're saying hi back, whoever's watching. Well, it wasn't me the first time I feel. I ain't fall like nobody's business. I want you to take a well a video and a picture of me because dad doesn't know how to do it. Oh my gosh. He's trying. Oh no, Mr. Buck. <laughs> Alright. Oh, Got it.
So now we're heading to the cemetery. Oh, I came in on the wrong side. Just back there. So this says reflections on a garden. Cyrus Gardens is a tribute to the admiration the Kittress family had for the rich and bountiful low country landscape. They recognized the unique beauty of the old Dean Rice fields and invested their time and money to protect and enhance this iconic 19th century landscape. Anyway. There's all the information out there. And this is interesting. Whenever it was deeded to the city of Charleston, it said, mindful that thousands of persons annually enjoy the beauty of Cypress Gardens and desires of preserving for future generations this unique garden created in 1927 by his father, the late Benjamin R. Kittredge, and which with the years has become an internationally celebrated attraction of South Carolina, has determined to give the same to the city council of Charleston. And then they were transferred to Berkeley County in 1996. I mean, some interesting post right here. I wonder if there was originally a house back here. Pretty sure there probably was. So this little marker down here is a tribute to Woody. He was the Cypress Gardens wood duck and friend from 1997 to 2007. And I believe just the last week, the one that was here, I think for 12 years or something, his name was Cypress, he passed away. So I'm pretty sure they'll probably get one out here for him as well. So now we're getting ready to enter in the cemetery. And somebody was nice and put a camellia up there. Camellia, camellia, whatever. Camellia, camellia. Got camellia gardens in Hartsville that I must go to. And this right here shows that this ground was concentrated May 16th, 1935. So that's been quite a while. And this one says, in memory of Benjamin Rufus Kittredge Jr., November 24th, 1900 to October 30th, 1981, and his wife, Carolia de Paster Kittredge, April 26th, 1904 through March 2nd, 1975. And this one is for Benjamin Rufus Kittredge, October 11th, 1859 to May 31st, 1951. It says something about a forest. It's the greatest beauty of the surrounding cypress gardens. I think that's what it says. And it was Elizabeth Maynard Marshall, wife of Benjamin Rufus Kittredge, May 25th, 1873 through May 6th, 1959. And this is My Happy from 1941 to 1957. And that looks like it says Dio Soli Sit Semper Gloria. And as you can tell, that is a massive cross. It's so beautiful. I don't think that's a wonderful tribute out here. And 
and it says may good fortune and every blessing attend all those who in future take reverend care of this consecrated ground benjamin rufus kittredge this one acre ground is the property of strawberry chapel of st john parish berkeley the burial plot was consecrated by reverend wallace martin and reverend maynard marshall 1935. And dad is the latest fashion right there. He's got it tied around his chest instead of his waist. So then also back here they have um tributes i believe to their pets this one says this is rosie jefferson from 1979 to 1994. appears to be a cat this is um twinkle from 1952 to 1967 and this says beloved little dogs and I cannot see a date on that one and this is the back side of the cross from where I was just standing I'm take a quick video of that right there since there's nobody currently on it but that's what we walked through earlier before we went over to the cemetery and this was the gazebo over there we just sat in there so mom could take a break some more pretty little unique colors of azaleas. I think the frost might have got these last week because everything was just so nice and vibrant and then boom went down to 30 something degrees. I don't know how good that's showing up. That is a beautiful display of iris out there in the water. Oh they're so beautiful. Mom spotted those. She's like, get them, get them. I think Dad is just there saying, I am done with this. <laughs> I think what a lot of people don't realize, it does take time to do these videos because you have to stop what you're doing. If you see something that you like, you have to video it. And then if you're like me, you have to take pictures of it. So. And then if you don't like it, sometimes I delete it. Most of the time, what you see is how it is. We shall continue on. There's the beautiful swamp back there behind me. And these are also pretty. So right there you get the contrast between the swamp and the azaleas. And this place is obviously known for both. There's another beautiful, starting one of those little swampy looking flowers down there. And if you look over there, you can see that the boats are starting to come back into play. Oh, this is nice. I wish an alligator was out there. I've been waiting all day for this, but there is a little alligator on that log over there. I wish he was a little bit closer, but he's not. Maybe the turtle's going into the water. I don't know. We shall see. Nope, it's just going to pose. So, Mom has 
came across the flame azalea. This is so pretty. It's such a vibrant color too, isn't it? Yeah. Because the other one that you look at it, it's supposed to elevate a place mm -hmm. is native azalea. Mm -hmm. So this is a pretty good spot as well. You got the yellow iris right in front of us. Then you got the azaleas over there to the left. There's a water lily over there to the right. Beautiful cypress tree right there in the middle. Now all needs an alligator. Life would be perfect. It would be a perfect, perfect picture. I'm pretty sure they're down there. You know, we just can't see them. They're like, hmm, I'm not going to be on her YouTube video. But that's okay. Several of them appeared. That is just so beautiful right there. It's a nice little area over here. You might have a picnic or something. Sit on the swing. Watch the boats go by. So mom and dad's over there on the Patriot Bridge right now. That was used in the movie The Patriot. And apparently they did not want to be in my video on that section, so they walked away. So at this point, mom and dad have left me. They're heading back to the car. So I'm gonna head to the car too, and then we'll go ahead and wrap up this video. But really hope you enjoyed looking at the Zayas today. All right, so we're gonna wrap up the video. So this information came from wikipedia.com. It's about Cypress Gardens in Monk's Corner, South Carolina. It says the gardens were originally part of the 1750 Dean Hall Rice Plantation which depended on fresh water from the Cooper River. So the Cooper River is actually very close by. The area that is now a swamp was dug out and filled with water gates to become a fresh water reservoir. I read somewhere it took 200 men to do that and to make the trails around that you walk now. And the property had fallen into disrepair when it was purchased by Benjamin Kittredge. You saw his grave back there. That's the one with the nice cross back there. And he purchased it for a duck hunting reserve. It was open to the public in 1932, but the gardens were created in 1927. So they had five years to kind of get it right to do what they wanted to with it. And the property was donated to the city of Charleston in 1963. Berkeley County took control of the ownership when the city of Charleston no longer wanted to support the garden. Then of course, as you know, tragedy struck back in 1989 whenever Hurricane Hugo came through so they had to close for a year while the repairs were being done and then once again in 2015 tragedy also struck this place and it was actually worse than what the hurricane was because then in October of 2015 if you're familiar with South Carolina we have what they call the thousand year flood and it destroyed a lot of the park so millions of dollars in damages had been done in the park 
it was closed for basically almost four years, but not quite four years. And then it reopened, and as you can tell, it's just as beautiful ever as ever. If you've ever been here before, you really know. So, as we all know, the notebook was filmed here, the Patriot was filmed here. Um, part of Cold Mountain was filmed here. I'd have to watch that movie again to see what it was. And North and South with Patrick Swayze. I always love Patrick Swayze. So, anyway, did y'all have a good time? Yeah. Yay. Dad's back there chilling in the back seat. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I do have one more thing to show as long as we head out of town the right way. So, if you watched it, I'm happy you watched it. And thanks for watching and bye. Everybody gonna say bye? Bye. Bye, bye. So this lovely building right here coming into view actually used to be at Cypress Gardens and then it was found, I read on South Carolina Picture Project that it was found abandoned in the woods in the 1967 area of the time and it was moved here in 1968. So there you go. So this is also a little bit of bonus footage. If you recall, I said something about the Strawberry Chapel, so we're going to head back there and look at it. And this is also in Monk's Corner, but you have to drive a little bit of a distance. Come see it. So that right there is the Strawberry Chapel. And as you can tell, it's behind. Looks like a chain link fence and all kind of stuff. Because they have a lot of vandals out there. And you know how it is. No matter where you go, you can't have nice things. But that is it. So this tells about the Childsbury Town Heritage Preserve, which is where the Strawberry Chapel is located at. This side tells the kind of birds you can see if you actually go out there and look at the Cooper River. Anyway, there's one last look over there. So just so you know, Cypress Gardens did have a little bit of a connection to this place. before I do go. So you can see the church a little bit better. And there's a nice old graveyard back there as well. I think they still have church services in there once or twice a year really nice inside but you know like I say the vandals have been so bad
you go that is the strawberry chapel